the advancement of, of communications technology in the city, as other cities are recognizing, is, is an important ante to stay in the game, and it's also important to attract new businesses into, into the city and provide that, that type of infrastructure. One of the really important things to realize is that there's a tremendous amount of capability in the technology uh, that we're able to implement at this time. Initially, I was getting downloads and uploads in the 10 to 12 megabit range, which was very nice. And I still am around three megabits um, up and down, which I uh, would find very, very adequate. U.S. Internet will build this network to meet the institutional needs in terms of quality of service and bandwidth and the residents will operate on top of that network and get the same quality of service, the same reliability, and the same performance that the city demands. That is significantly greater than, for example, other cities who have chosen just to roll it out to residents and businesses. When I'm using the U.S. Internet connection inside my house, Everywhere I've tried it so far, I'm getting very good signal, um, even though it's coming from outdoors. We are very delighted with both the combination of the technology that our provider is bringing, as well as the business model that they are implementing, and the ability that they've had to come to the table and craft a strong agreement, a public-private partnership with the Minneapolis uh, city government that we believe is not only workable today, but sustainable well into the future. Once the U.S. internet connection came in and the Bel Air antennas, uh, it's been just excellent. The kind of technology that we're looking for uh, must be rugged to deal with the weather extremes that we have in Minneapolis. It must be reliable because we're counting on this network for public safety as well as uh, residential and, and business and visitor uses. Uh, it, it must be uh, able to deliver a very high quality uh, of service uh, to all of our users. Uh, it must be able to give us the bandwidth delivery that uh, we are looking for, and it needs to be able to give us the ubiquitous coverage uh, that is important to all of the programmatic goals uh, that we've established uh, for this network. With Bel Air and our other partners being able to put in a network that can sustain the traffic is what it really comes down to at the end of the day. It comes down to engineering. The network had to be better than anything else out there, and, and that's what it was. Ultimately, our goal was to, was to, to contract with a provider who would build a solid value-added business around this that then would just increase the, the benefits to the city. The city doesn't want to grow up and to be a WISP. You know, that's not what its job is, uh, but the city does have assets that the WISP needs. I think the more people have learned about the foundation uh, that we are basing this business model on, um, I think they see that there's a tremendous amount of sense here. This is one of the most significant things the city has done in quite some time in terms of broad benefit across all sectors of of the population in Minneapolis, business, residence, city, uh, institution. Uh, it, it really benefits everyone. I am so excited about it and so looking forward to having like citywide, I can go anywhere and do this. I don't have to go to my list of like the half dozen cafes where I can get this. If I want to go out for breakfast and read websites, I can just go to any of the breakfast places. This makes me so happy. I mean, like, this is the future I've been waiting for. <laughs>